Wolf here with another video and as you may have noticed by now, this is a long one. I've recorded another Octatrack jam and this time it's mostly me flipping samples. I'm showing you how I set up my project, how I record from an Exxon audio source, what I do to the material using slices, using internal effects. Um, besides the one sample that is coming from my iPod, um, all other samples are stock material that came on the CF card with the Octatrack. So it's really easy to reproduce everything I do in this video. I've included timestamps to make navigating this video a bit easier and I really do hope you enjoy yourself. If you do, please let me know, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, you know all the nice things that I would appreciate. And if you have some negative feedback, maybe also tell me, but don't be too harsh. That's it, enjoy yourself and I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Okay, welcome to my first sort of tutorial for the Octatrack. Let's start a whole new project here so you can see step by step how I do things. How I'm going to hopefully flip the sample or two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I already know which sample I'm going to flip. It's a track from the Silent Hill soundtrack, so let's call this the Silent Flip. I am a little excited because I'm, I'm going to try and make the whole video without any cuts. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm going to speed some, some segments up or I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so the first thing that I like to change about my project is hidden in the audio options because I'm using track 8 as a master track for, well, you, you'll see all in due time. And what else? The metronome. I want to hear the metronome on the main volume as well. Okay, setting it to the same value as the Q. And another thing, so I'm going to sample, like I'm going to record the sample live. So I want to make sure that I'm not going to run out of of RAM for the sampling. So we're going to change something about that as well. We're in the memory section. Dynamic recorders to yes. That allows us to record really long samples into one of the recording tracks. Okay, so first of all, I want to check my audio levels. I've prepared a track. Tears off from the Silent Hill soundtrack. <sighs> so good. Mm. See, there's some reflection on the screen, but I'm, I'm sure you can make it out. Okay, I'm starting the track and I'm getting some levels here. So, for now, I want to hear the direct in, just for the moment, for the time being. Okay, this is quiet. This is kind of quiet, so I'll gain it a little as well. Next up, we're heading for the recording setup. I'm gonna set the trick to hold, so it's going to record for the duration of me holding the record button. I only want to record A and B, and 
as you can see we have like what's that um, six minutes and 36 seconds uh, worth of recording time which should be more than enough all right um, mm -hmm. oh, I love this music. so let's sample I'm holding the recording button and I'm playing the intro that I want to sample. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the recording and there's nothing here because, because, why is that? Let's set this first one to flex and let's select the first recording and here we are. Awesome. So, what do I want to do? Show me what you got. I want to slice the sample. So, um, I think I'll need about four or five slices, but I'm going to, yeah, I'm going for eight slices. Line markers to zero crosses is nice. Normally, this does a good a good job at predetermining where the markers are going to be set. Okay, screw the first slice already. We're going in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And enhance. Starting position. And the end position. Okay. With these keys, I can switch to the next slice. Pretty neato. Who says neato? Nobody says neato. Neither should I. Okay, third one. You know, as you maybe can see here with those white lines, we have some overlaps, but we'll we won't worry about that. No worries for us, only music. And, and another one. Everybody gets a slice. Okay. And if I remember correctly, here should be some squeaky um, string slidey noisy B. <laughs> nah, I forgot how that sentence started. Yeah, I want that as well. Okay, so I've got the slices that I want. So I'm going to. I'm going to go to file safe and assign sample and we'll call it sh guitar just so we know what it is if we ever were to open that file again assign to free flex okay so it's assigned to the first flex and that means I'm going to choose the first flex on my track number one. And I'm going to go into the setup and I'm turning the looping off and the slices on. And I'll, I 
think I'll turn the time stretch off for now. We'll see about that. So I want to go for a nice hip hop vibey tempo with function and the, the down key I'm selecting slices. And I've got my slices. But I want to reverb, uh, not reverb, I want to reverse them. Maybe I'll reverb them as well for now. Let's reverse them. <laughs> okay. Cue the metronome and and make them a little bit louder. Okay. Okay. Something like that should do. Let's make that a little longer. And oh, another thing project metronome. And I want to pre roll one bar, uh, one bar, just so I can, you know, get into the groove. gonna need a beat. So to keep things really simple I'm going to go for some samples that came with the Octatrack. Now let's switch to a flex track just to make sure and loop masters loops hip hop hooray and here we go. Nah. Nah. Eh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll stick with that one. It's simple and it should do for now. Okay. Um, let's take a look-see at that one as well. Mm. Maybe we'll need to, oh, okay, yes, we'll need to slice that one. <sighs> okay, considering how long this one is, I'm going to go for 64 slices because I think that should trim it down to to a slice per drum hit. Let's just give it a go. Okay, now I place the whole thing because I forgot to turn slices on. Okay, it's pretty much always the same. Sorry. 
That's a weird clicky noise. Okay. It's time to take a look see. I'm saying look see again. What is wrong with me? Maybe sitting in front of the Octatrack for too long has given me a brain too more. Fingers crossed it hasn't. So we want some compression. Okay, okay. To see when the compressor starts you know, interacting with the audio signal, I usually turn up the ratio for a bit. And then I turn the threshold down and see when it starts affecting the audio. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I want it heavily compressed, not much attack. But of course we want more elements in there, so let's add some stuff.
Okay, we need a base. We need some base for that beast. Sounds pretty nice so far. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I sure as heck am enjoying myself, even if it sounds like I'm stressed out and not saying much, but I'm trying to figure out how to operate this thing, this beast, this wicked creation. <laughs> no. And at the same time do some voiceover. Uh, I need something with a little bass. No, no. Just how much stuff is there left? Okay. Sounds nice. Ooh. Okay, okay. Mm. Oh yeah, that sounds nasty. Ha <laughs> 
I guess we'll call it a day. Have I never turned off the click? The metronome? I'm sorry. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. If you really managed to <laughs> stay with me for the duration of the whole video, my thanks to you. Also, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, be nice to somebody, make some music, watch a good movie, fall asleep. Nah, don't fall asleep. Stay awake, make some music, be creative, and well, I'll see you around next time. Bye.